I'm gonna give you five tips on how to write a perfect YouTube title that gets clicks. So if you aren't really getting many views on your videos, I want you to try these five tips in your next video and then let me know if you see a spike in your click-through rate and overall views. I'm even gonna share some of the free resources that we use here at Think Media to come up with good titles. And at the very end, I have a bonus tip for you guys that most people struggling on YouTube aren't doing that they definitely should be doing. All that's coming up, so let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Noel Molt with Think Media. Now recently we had an all team meeting and Sean was giving us a training on how to write better titles for YouTube videos. And during this, I took some notes and I realized you guys need to hear this stuff because a lot of this is just really good practical advice that I think most people aren't really doing. Now the first tip that Sean gave to us was to avoid insider language. Now I want you to think about some of the things that you might say when talking about your hobby or passion that would just fly over a beginner's head. So if I'm making a video about cameras and maybe I'm talking to the camera, I'm like, hey, do you wanna get a shallow depth of field? You might not know what that means if you don't know anything about cameras, but if I say, hey, do you wanna get that blurry background where you're in focus and everything behind you is out of focus and blurry, that is beginner language and is really easy to understand as a beginner. And this is very important for your titles because you want the person to actually understand your title and what it is that they are going to click on. Now, when Sean was talking about this point, there was two things I wrote down that I gotta share with you. One, he said, if you confuse, you lose. And then he also said, he wanna shoot for a fifth grade reading level. So be thinking, how can you simplify your title, make it easier to read and easier to understand? Tip number two, shorter is better. Now hold up though, because there definitely is a disclaimer on this. Sean was saying it really doesn't matter if your title is long, you know, according to the algorithm, you still can do well with a long title, but the words that are up front matter the most. First of all, people's attention spans are really short. So if you have a video that maybe says vlog 97 dash what I eat in a day, you might wanna flip this around because you want people to read what I eat in a day first. They might be interested in that, but if they read vlog 97, they're not interested in that. They don't really care unless maybe they're a subscriber that's following along with your vlogs. But what I eat in a day is broad in general to everyone. You also need to be aware that long titles are going to get cut off at a certain point, whether you're on mobile or desktop. If your title's too long, you're gonna see dot, dot, dot. So when you click on the video, you can see the full title. But when you're just browsing through YouTube, sometimes you can't see the full title if it's too long. And this is why those words at the front are so important. Tip number three is to understand the the viewer's intention. Now within this tip, there's really two things to understand here. And the first one is to not clickbait. You want someone to click on your video knowing what they're going to get, not click on their video and trick them into getting into the video and then not giving them what they wanted. Because ultimately if you do that and people are clicking on your title thinking it's one thing, but not actually getting that, they're just gonna click right off and it is going to kill your average view duration, which is really bad for the YouTube algorithm. So we want to avoid that. Now the second meaning to this tip is the chocolate cover. Carrot. Now my friend Alejandro Reyes, who is a genius marketer, was actually talking about the chocolate covered carrot method at our Grow With Video Live event. And I'll make sure to leave a link in the description if you wanna check out our yearly event where you can hang out with us and learn about YouTube and how to grow on YouTube and make money. But back to the chocolate covered carrot is realizing what the viewer's intent is and what they actually want. For example, let's take a look at the title of this very YouTube video. Ultimately, the video is about how to create a perfect YouTube title, but people don't really wanna know how to make the perfect title. What they really want is views. They want clicks on their video. Now getting views would be that chocolate. It's what they want. It's the good stuff. Now on the inside is the vegetables, the stuff that's actually good for you, which is creating a good title because that is what's going to give you the views. So you want to think about what the viewers want and what they need. And you want to mesh those together, not clickbait them, but deliver on that promise. And I know that this is going to deliver on that promise that if you follow all of these steps in this video, it is going to help your titles and it's gonna help you get more views. Number four is practical tools. You wanna to use real data and even some software to come up with good titles. One thing I love to do is look for good titles that are already out on YouTube. So I'll search on YouTube and I'll start looking for videos that might have a similar title to what the video is that I'm going to release. Now specifically, I'm looking at the view count to the subscriber count. I'm looking for videos that have a lot of views, but the channel doesn't have that many subscribers. Now, if you're wondering how I can see the subscriber count right here 
in the search without clicking on their channel, it's with a software called vidIQ. And you can actually go to vidIQ.com forward slash think to get a free 30 day trial, or you can just use the free version of their software and look at their subscriber count. And we'll have a link for you in the description down below. Now, the reason I like to look at the subscriber versus view count is because if there's a bunch of views, but there's not a lot of subscribers, this means that this video is doing well in the YouTube algorithm, that YouTube is actually promoting this video. So that's a really good indicator to me that they're using a good title. Now, to be clear, I draw inspiration from these titles. I look at the keywords they're using in their title, maybe the way they've worded their title, and then I use that to craft my own title for my video. Another really cool vidIQ feature that I use to come up with good titles is actually when I'm uploading the video, once I add in my tags, if I go back up to the title, it's gonna give me some recommendations for adding in keywords to my title. This is a really cool tool for ranking and search by adding in some of those keywords into your title is gonna help you rank higher in the search. Another really cool tool that we use is called Headline Analyzer. This is at coschedule.com. We'll have another link in the description if you wanna check it out. And I just use the free version on their website. All you gotta do is put in your title and it's gonna give you a report back with a lot of really cool information and some really cool tips. And I'll even give your title a score and tips on how to improve that title to get a higher score. Which brings me to tip number five and make sure you stay after for the bonus tip. But tip number five is to write multiple titles. It's always a good idea to brainstorm multiple titles and not just have one that you go after, but actually have a few in your lineup. And when you write these multiple titles, it's great to get other people's perspectives and to see what other people think and which one they would click on. Especially if they're a beginner or outside of your niche and they look at your titles, they're gonna give you some really good feedback. They might be like, oh, that is some insider language. I don't know what that means. And this can help you rework your title to go through these five steps and make sure that you have the perfect YouTube title. Now, here's the bonus tip that a lot of people are not doing on YouTube. Most people shoot their videos, they write their titles, do the thumbnail and then upload it to YouTube. But we actually wanna do the opposite of that. We actually recommend that you write your title first before shooting your video. And then with that great idea and title, you can write your content to execute on that idea. Now, if you wanna learn how to write a YouTube script, then you can click on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video.